About a dozen wildfires have already burned throughout southern Arizona this year, and some of them could have been prevented. Now, this is video. Take a look from a fire that swept through the Santa Cruz River on Wednesday. The flames engulfed about a mile and a half stretch of the wash before it was put out. Northwest, uh, Northwest firefighters say it's likely the fire was human caused. Now, on your side, Jennifer Dela Cruz takes a look at some of this year's worst wildfires and how humans may have caused them without even knowing. It's the same scene we see every year. Flames ripping through the southern Arizona desert during the warmer months. Just last week, a blaze tore through the Santa Cruz River near Cortero and I-10. It was one of the biggest wildfires in years for Northwest Fire District. I was standing here the other day watching it jump 300, 400 feet in the matter of a second just because it's able to move through that light fuel very quickly. Northwest Fire Captain Brian Keeley says it's likely it didn't start on its own. When you look back that day, there was no lightning that day, nothing that would really trigger you to think that it was nature cause the blaze requiring a lot of manpower to put out. We were out here for a good six hours and then the whole next day we still had people out here patrolling the wash looking for those hot spots. So these things are very labor intensive for us. It just takes a tremendous amount of time and a tremendous amount of resources away from us. In just the month of May alone we've seen other fires in southern Arizona believed to be human caused. The La Sierra fire is still burning across more than 5,000 acres in Nogales. The Montrose fire burned 13 acres on Mount Lemon. The Camaro fire burned through more than 5,000 acres near Sasabe, some of the most common triggers. You know, cigarette butts are a problem for us every year. A lot of people don't think about how hot their exhaust is, and if there's grass underneath it touching it, it's going to light off the grass. If you're barbecuing, you know, some of these areas close by, really control the lid and all that because the embers, if they get up, can cause a fire. Northwest firefighters want to remind homeowners, especially those who live near a wash, to keep a 30-foot perimeter around your home clear of flammable materials, including fallen tree limbs, leaves, or dry brush. Back to you guys.